back to the Option Skill Trades Fair at the Pembroke Memorial Center. With me now, a couple of teachers that work in culinary arts and hospitality, Jill Plasic from Bishop Smith Catholic High School and Aaron Arsenault from Valor High School in Petawawa. Let me start with you, Aaron, first. How much preparation goes into getting the students ready for today's competition? Most of the students are in our classes and participate fairly regularly on a day-to-day -day basis in the cooking, but they also come in after school and do some practice before they get here. Right, and you've done a lot of work with Reach Ahead Opportunities. I know that some of the students have been at the college. That's important as part of introducing them to this career. It absolutely is. In, it's an integral part of getting them involved and having them participate. They need to see what they could potentially be going into in the long run. All right, Jill, how did you prepare your students for today's competition? Well, same as Aaron. We, uh, we work a lot in the classroom, and the kids come out after, and if they know that they want to compete, they come and, and practice at lunch or after school. And what are they doing today? What are the assignments? Uh, it's the ultimate burger competition with a side salad. Okay. For and the culinary. For the culinary. That's culinary, and then there's also cake design and some yeah. others, right? So in the cake design, they had four, four categories to choose from. And what were they? Aaron? <laughs> we, did, uh, we did school this year. So there's academics, there's uh, clubs, there's sports, and there's the social aspect. And so they had to do some research about what kinds of uh, different cake designs they could come up with. They did some research on Pinterest or on the uh, internet. They came up with some really fabulous designs and then they had to create them. And it's always one of the a fun competition to watch because it's so creative and there's so much energy around it and a lot of students participate from across the county. Absolutely, we've got nine in the uh, the cake decorating competition this year which is more than we've ever had before and we've got 13 taking part in our culinary which is uh, again more than we've had in a long time. The other thing I think that's great about this whole day is the amount of participation from employers who are judges and their role is critical. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful that, they, uh, that they'll give up their time and come and, and, and they're so helpful with the students. Like they're, they're very kind, they're offering them kind words, telling them what they can improve on and the kids really appreciate it. it let's them relax them. Now I know you've been around this competition, this isn't the first year you've been here, but there must be some success stories too where students go on and have great careers and sometimes it's not about choosing this career, it's just about learning more about it and seeing if it's the right choice. I actually have one student who competed about four years ago who is now running a kitchen in Kelsey's in Ottawa and doing a fabulous job at it. He's just, he's loving it. And isn't that what today is all about? Absolutely, no question. All right, thank you ladies both and uh, thanks for giving up your day to be part of this great competition. Thank you for having us. Aaron and Jill, two hospitality culinary arts teachers within the school system here in Renford County and a great competition. If you haven't had a chance to come on down, still got about an hour and a half before the show ends. Options 2016 at the Pembroke Memorial Center.